What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. They bother me that bad. Orcs are the ones that have been bothering me bad this season. <clears throat> Orcs are the ones I've had the most trouble with this season. Chaos Dwarves and Dwarves I haven't really had that hard of a time with. We're in my stadium, so no weather change. See if I can win the toss here and get some damage done first. Nope, he wins the toss. That sucks. Uh, ooh, I rolled an 11 for Fan Factor. Nice. I'm assuming I got fame. I did. So he's got uh, 16, 19. I rolled an 11, and 8 is 19. No, no I didn't. <laughs> we ended up tied. Ain't that a bitch? Well, it took me rolling that good just to get it tied, so... That sucks. I thought for sure I'd have had it right there. Alright, so let's get these guys out. Get our rookies on the edge. There's our other one. There he is. Get a blocker up here. Get a rookie up here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he could easily get to those guys. So we're going to do this. This. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're going to go like that. Keep him away from these guys back here with his go for it bulls. Ah, nope, but it's fun. It'll be a good match against a really good coach, so. I don't necessarily hate those. Not necessarily what I would hope for, but I'm not going to cry and complain about it. It would only make me a better coach in the long run, so... I welcome these kind of challenging matches. And welcome in, Satterfield. No, they were both 6'4", Red Joker. I wouldn't have passed up the block <clears throat> on any of them. The block would have came on any one of those rolls <clears throat> if it had been double fives. Never pass up block on a Tomb Guardian no matter what. Except for double sixes. Double sixes I'd pass the block up to take strength. So uh, second place team is, has played some more matches. He's got two more losses than me, two more draws than me, and one more win than me. Hey, Voltron. Yes, this should be a fun matchup. Uh, shit, and I got my kicker on the fucking line. God dang it. Totally forgot about that. Ugh, that sucks. I get the extra reroll. <clears throat> uh, we both rolled a... No, I rolled a three, he rolled a two, but I have the coach. I thought we both rolled a two. So let's hope that his mighty blow is not working. And of course it is stunned and he piles on to a KO problem is it's hard to foul these guys because they're freaking thick skull take down there no yeah he does break stuns he'll pile on yep absolutely and no takedown we'll take it Dad used to get annoyed with a friend of his because he would never play him at table tennis. No break on that one. He'll pile on. <laughs> no fear about piling on on these guys, is there? Uh, he was a champion player and said to my dad, you're not good enough to play with. You will not improve my skill. So yes, 
good match to improve. Oh, I absolutely love playing guys that are better than me. Have no problem with it at all. No problem with it at all. Does not bother me in the least bit. Well, we'll get a hit on this uh, bull at least. Potentially, actually. We could potentially go for the uh, ball, depending on what he does here. <clears throat> now I put this guy right where he needed to put him. Yep, any of those spots right in there would keep me from getting to the ball. Double fail to pick up. Nope. Here comes the foul. Come on, ref, catch him. Catch him, ref. No break. Double ones. Or double twos, even. Nope, he breaks. Hey, get caught, though. That's good. So that's one of the dirty players gone. We'll take that. We will take that. Let's see here. Stand him up. Let's get him. No, let's not get him there. Um. Hmm, how do I want to do this? 44, 49. I want to do the hit with him. So let's just push him up to here. Let's push him out to here. Let's see if we can get a break with Coldy. See if we can get one of these bulls off the pitch. Get the yellow, that's good. No break, though. Um, hmm. Can't foul, because I don't have my dirty player. He's up here. Holding on the line. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to bring these guys back a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to bring him here. Him here. And him here. <coughs> I'm just going to stay right here. Make him keep coming and getting me. I'm not going to keep marking him and giving him the hits. That's the last thing I want to do. He'll bring both guys in and then blitz with him. That's what I expected he would do. I almost brought my guard piece over to keep that from happening, but I didn't want to open my middle up and give him the blitz through with that guy on my other... Nice guys. Wanted to be smarter about that. <clears throat> yes, Talc, when you can only buy bribes. That way, but like he said, you can, uh, what, like Satterfield said, you can have uh, a stadium enhancement that gives you more. Nice, we're okay with that.
Hmm. I could fireball those three. Let's see where we're at here. One, two. If I fireball those three and took all three down, then I could blitz him. Or I can just blitz him and mark up over here with stuff. Yeah, I don't think I fireball yet. He can't score, he can. But I can get guys in front of him. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fireball yet. We're gonna let him have these skeletons to hit on. Bring him over here to mark those guys up. Stand him up, stand him up. Blitz here. Hopefully we can break. Ah, come on, man, break him. Need to break that fool. Let's get this guy. First go for it and I fail it. Ah. First fucking go for it and I fail it. Not good, man. Not good. Let's just stay there and see what happens. Yeah, there's no reason to use the wizard there. If I had a really good, solid chance to get to the ball, I would have, but... Blow. No takedown though, we'll take it. <laughs> Come back with the head out. Love you. Love you too. Oh, oh sorry. That's all right. Uh, be careful, man. Love you. I love you too. Oh, thank you. Instant pile on. Yep. And an injury, and it doesn't heal. Or it doesn't regen. Just a badly hurt, though. That's good. That was my daughter, by the way, guys. Another pile on instantly here. <laughs> it doesn't have to. Fuck, just injuries. Uh, I do regen that one, though. That's good. Well, now I know why he took Pylon, because he's instantly using it no matter what. No fear at all on the Pylon, just immediately uses it. Ah, he gets the yellow. Damn it. And that's not my Finn guy either. No break there, though. That's good. Just, oh, he fucking dodged out with break tackle. Need him to get get quit getting yellows on every hit, man. It's killing me. Now, see, I could potentially get to him here. Potentially. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Nah, I'd only be able to get up to him with him. Nice. Well, at least he finally failed something. Nice, and he didn't get the takedown either. Even better. Well, I'll try to get a blitz on this guy and break his armor. Ah, lucky ass. Why can't I ever get my opponent to get a skull when he rolls red against me? Especially when he doesn't have a reroll. Gross, man. You're going to do another red uphill here. Come on, roll a red. Oh, no, he didn't. Wow, that's interesting. So we're just going to stand him up. Go ahead and do the hit here. Nice. And we'll go here. I'll follow. Be nice if I could get a break. Guard, right? Yes, he is. Break it. There we go. Ah, just a stun. Every one of his breaks is taking me off. I just get a stun on my first break. That stinks. Needed more than just a stun there. Needed more than just a stun right there. That's a strength five, right? It is. That's not guard, so we'll just stay. And we'll stay with him. Be nice if I could break one of his uh, dwarves, too. That'd be really nice. <clears throat> yep, mark everybody up. Gonna get a pylon hit on this guy. That's what it looks like anyway. Just gonna give me the free hit on him? Are you going to? Can't believe you just give me a free hit on him. Wow, that's kind of surprising. Unless he's gonna do go for it, or is he gonna come in this route? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'd be a go for it, but he's got sure feet. That's what he's gonna do. You didn't even need to move him in to do that, though. That's interesting. Are you gonna blitz the tomb guardian instead? I mean, if you're going to blitz the Tomb Guardian, do it with one of your pylon pieces where you at least can have a chance to kill him, right? Twice, two chances to kill him at least. I just don't get that. And if you're going to do that, do one go for it at a time. There you go. Makes the first one. Fails the second one, makes it on the go for it. Stays there. Ah, because he wanted to get over there, which means he's going to take him over to here, probably. <coughs> ah, come on. He does all the go-forts first, too, instead of doing them one at a time like he should. I'm surprised he's playing. He's not playing as good as I would expect Crucifer to play. Right, he's doing rolls that he shouldn't do with the, like that roll right there, he should have done them one at a time. Just a bad play. And I would expect more out of Crucifer than that. Absolutely would expect more than that. Nice. And I don't know why he would dodge out there. Not a very smart play there either. 
Uh, so if I hit him, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, but I can't get to him. Could go one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Can't get to him there. So I can't get to him with any of those guys. I think I just bring him into here. Get him into here. That gets me two dice here. We'll stay. Come on, break one of these fuckers. Even just one random break would be nice. We'll stay there. Nope, can't even get that. there. We'll just stay pat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or could come back up and do that. Actually, I am going to bring him back up here. That way I have him back here at least to put pressure on him in the backfield and to have a guy back here to potentially catch a ball if I can pop that ball out or to, if I can pop the ball out come in from behind and pick it up yeah I, I'm I'm seeing what you're saying uh, infinite or uh, red joker uh, he's doing some moves that I would not expect from a coach with the records that he ends up with I would I would absolutely expect more than what he's doing for sure And I don't think the three piling on is the right way to go with these guys, but he's making it work. At least in this match he is. Just because he's just non-stop piling on. And I am armor 7. All the pieces he's piling on on are armor 7 pieces. So He's definitely going to blitz probably the fin piece or this piece. <clears throat> this piece most likely. Yep. And push him back here. Absolutely. That is what I would have expected. No yellow. Nice. Yeah, I'm not saying he's bad. By no means. You don't get to the records he's getting to by being a bad coach. Absolutely not. But he's also doing some, some plays that you wouldn't expect a coach of his caliber to be doing. One, two, three, four, five, six... Six, seven, eight, and then could potentially pass up to there. What do we got in here? Is there any way? Um, if I stood him up, hit him. There's no way for me to push down unless I blitzed. I could actually, actually, yeah, I could do that. I could come one, two, three, hit him, push him here. Hit him would take the guard off of him. Then he could hit this guy and take him down, and he's free to come out and run and get the ball. 
Um, or do I wait and let him cage up down here? I don't even have to use a fireball. I could just do that and then mark him up with a couple of guys. Get over to there. Or I could get the ball and try to pass it up to him and then run. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, if he scores now, I probably would score my half and make it a 1-1 draw, m most likely. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take, take the chance here. Still got all my rerolls. Oh, fucking lightning bolt fizzles. Wow. Of course, the one chance I finally actually get a fucking light or a, a wizard and it fucking fizzles. How gross. Talk about gross, man. Talk about gross. Pretty disgusting. Nice break there. Finally, I get a random break on him, but not good enough to get the uh, takedown like I hoped. Or the takeoff, I should say, like I hoped. We'll follow in here. Now we'll do this hit here. Ah, god dang it. I needed the fucking takeoff right there. Son of a bitch. Or the, the yellow. Needed the fucking yellow right there, man. Uh-uh-uh. Needed the yellow. Can't get there. So I could do some dodges. I have a reroll. I could try to do some dodges. I think, I have to think that is what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, come on. I, mean, I got four rerolls. I got to use them, right? There we go. <clears throat> no sense in holding on to him. I could do a one die there, but I want to leave him marked up against the Tomb Guardian at least. Make him make a dodge and a break tackle, right? I could come in here. I could bring him in here and leave him marked. At least make him make a break tackle roll. I'm going to do that. Or not. And I break myself. And I kill myself. But I regen. A 6-4, six, 6-5, four, six, six, four. Wow. That was a little gross. Now I take a mighty blow hit from his bull. Uh, it's first game, Tizzle. Ah, it's not going poorly. It's what I would expect with him for him to do, right? He got to receive. He's going to get all the hits off on me first. If I receive, I get all the hits off on him and control the pitch. It's the way it goes. He won the coin toss, and it gave him the, the ability to control this. Just got to hope the dice go more in my favor in the second half, which they easily could. Just have to wait and see. I fully expect this game to be a 1-1 draw. <clears throat> At this point. Thankfully, my regen has worked pretty good. The only one that didn't was a badly hurt, and we're okay with that. <coughs> and he didn't get yellows on those two guys there. My Edge, Skelly, and my Finn, Throw Rock. So I'm okay with that. <clears throat> <clears throat> nice, finally. He rerolls at skull. Thank you. Finally. Some skulls on red dice. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn it just out of range on everybody, man. He's the only one that can actually get to him. And 
he's just out of fuck. Everybody is just out of range. So let's do this hit first. Of course, I don't get the yellow. Fuck. Would have been nice to at least get a yellow there. One, two, three, four. Let's do this hit here. There we go. Let's get the mighty blow hit on this guy. Come on, baby, break his ass. Break his ass. Ah, damn it. I'm going to do both my go-forts here because it doesn't matter. I'm doing them both whether I fail them or not. Come on, baby. Give me a yellow. Ah, I'm going to re-roll it. Give me a yellow. Thank you. I can at least mark him up. <coughs> without doing a go-for-it. But he can get to me easily with guys. But I'm putting pressure on him. That's all right. I'm making him make rolls, which is good enough. Seen a few games where he played really well and a few games I watched him get lucky. Let's remember that the amount of games he plays hard for anyone to be consistent with that number of games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and then you... Oh, no. See, that's the wrong blitz. You don't blitz there. You blitz with your block piece. That's where I would expect him to be better. Come on, at least won this. Ah. Oh, he rolled a two. If he'd have won that, he'd have had to use the reroll at least. Damn it. See, that's the wrong blitz. That's just terrible. That's that's not a good play of a coach that I would expect much higher caliber from. It's a, that's a dumb blitz. Because he wants to, he wants to surf him. Good. I hope he gets burned for being greedy. Come on, double one this. Double one it. Yes. <laughs> Greed kills. It's what you get. Such a stupid play right there. So greedy. Yeah, it's a one in thirty-six, but still very, very greedy, and it got him. <clears throat> No, he's not going to surf me. He thought he was going to. So we've got guard, guard, and him. So that's not good. So I need to do this hit to get him off of me with the guard. And then I get two dice here. And I'll follow. Which is going to put me in range of two mighty blows, though, unfortunately. It's just a one die there, but I do get two die here. And I'll stay because I want him marked. Now the question is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would give me two dice there. I think I gotta try that, right? Hope I can make a dodge. And I'm doing the go for it no matter what. Come on, baby. No! Fuck! Come on, man. Really? You're edge three. Make an easy dodge. Now, watch me fail to go for it. Yep, told you. I knew it. I absolutely knew that was gonna happen. It's so gross, dude. So gross, he gets paid off for playing so bad. And he's a much, much better... Yeah, I do, Detox, absolutely. But he's a coach that I would expect way better than that. I expect him not to be greedy like that. It's absolutely dumb play, in my opinion. And I tell you, when I do that stuff, I tell you the same thing. It's a dumb play. It's absolutely a dumb play on my part to do those plays. And I know it when I'm doing it. He may have knew it when he did that one. 
He may have said, who cares? It's worth taking the chance. That's nice. All those hits and he couldn't take down my edge piece. I like that. So now he's down to either doing a one-die blitz with no reroll or doing a break tackle. Come on, roll a one. Ah, fuck me. He rolled a two again. So many, he, I think that's the third or fourth time he's break tackle two'd. Man, if he'd have rolled double red right there, that would have been so hilarious. Would have been so hilarious. <clears throat> so he gets lucky by being greedy. He didn't get burned when he should have. All I got to do is make a, an easy dodge and a one go for it. And get a yellow. If I get the yellow, then I'm good. And then he doesn't score, but he gets away with it because I couldn't make three easy rolls. Nice, I get both my knockouts back. That's good. So my babe did come in handy there since the wizard fizzled on me. So anyway, like I'm saying, I, I just expect with his caliber that I know he's he should be at, I expect him to play way better than that. I think he played way under what his caliber of play is. Because I think he got cocky with all of his piling on and he was taking guys off early. And I think he got cocky with that and got greedy with it. And he got away with it. Alright, so let's see if we can get our five guy a potential score here. Um, actually, we're going to do this. Do it this way. Or a potential touchdown, sorry, not a score. So we'll get three dice there. And then he'll be... I won't get three dice there yet. But I could get three dice there with him. Um, DNS. Just needs a touchdown. So we're going to try to get him a... Try to get him a point. With the passing. Question is, would I foul any of these guys? I doubt I would, but I'm really not worth fouling those guys. <clears throat> Be worth saving my dirty player to foul one of them bulls if I get him down. He definitely got extremely lucky that I did not that I could not burn him on that. Can't really get away from everything. He can get away from a few things, like these two mighty blue. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I can still get my hits that I want to get. Let's bring him around to here. <clears throat> get that guard in there. Um, let's go ahead and just try to do the hit. No, that's a three die. I want to do more than a, or two die. I want to do more than a three die there. I want to do more than a two die there. I want to get a three die there. I'll just take the chances with breaking them with my regular guys, because if I can get a random break, that would be nice. No random break there. blow. <clears throat> Can I get the random break here? Come on, baby. Break him. Nope. We're sure hoping. We're sure hoping. Alright, let's see if we can get uh, get Shiggy with it. Let's see if we can get him a point for passing here. Nope. Double fails to pick him. Double fails to pick up. <clears throat> Alright, so, still gonna be, no, 10 on 11. I've only got 10 in. He'll have 11. I still think this probably ends in a 1-1 draw, most likely. But we'll see. You never know. He might be able to keep me from scoring. Potentially.
Um, let's get him here. Let's have him here. Him out here. DNS back here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what happens here. No blitz. As soon as I call it, it'll happen. High kick. We'll take it. <clears throat> oh, nice catch, dude. All right, let's wait to move him for now. Ah, come on, man. Give me that random break. I'm going to go with the Mighty Blow on this one. How do I want to do this? Because I would foul him. Or would I? Nah, I'm not worried about fouling him. I'm only going to foul either that ball carrier or those two bull ca bulls. That's all I'm worried about fouling. Man, a random break on one of those guys would be so nice. I forgot I saw my block. Block piece over there. <clears throat> hey, kid, Chris, how you doing? After the Tomb Guardian. Nope. Gonna go with the pile on there. Nice. Use that reroll, baby. He does get the yellow, though. Let's hope he doesn't break. It will be an instant pile on. Absolutely. Nice. No break. I like it. <coughs> I can handle that. I can handle that. Oh, wow, he put his ball carrier over there. Why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? If I can get a straight-up pal on him, that'd be awesome. Let's do these other hits first. Strength one 
there. We'll wait on him. Yeah, we're gonna go there. So let's do this hit first. Potentially we're gonna go there. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful baby, break him, kill him. Ugh, you gotta fucking kill him. God damn it. I really needed to fucking kill that dude. Really needed to fucking kill him. Oh, wait a minute, I got guard. I can just straight up get straight hit there. Come on, baby, break his ass. Break his motherfucking ass. Damn it. But I can get a mighty blow hit on him now. Two, three, four, five to sit. Five to hit. Come on, baby. Break him. Break him. Fuck. You guys know what the fuck's getting ready to happen here, don't you? <clears throat> at least make him have... Oh, nice. I was going to say, we're at least going to make this guy have to do a hit here. Or a break tackle out. I'm not just going to let him freely move back over here. Now let's see if we can kill this bitch. Kill this motherfucking goblin. Hob goblin. Stomp, stomp. Nope. I broke him. Just rolled another stun on the injury. So I still have not got any SPP this game. <clears throat> yep, so that makes him use two guys now to get the hit on this Tomb Guardian. Now, no break, baby. Oh, that's beautiful right there. That is beautiful right there. Hell yeah. We'll take that all day long. He'll get the pylon hitting here again. Should have moved him over here. Kept that there. I didn't even think about that. Totally messed that up. Totally messed that up, didn't I? Nice. And he doesn't reroll it. Smart move. He will be able to get the hit here, though, unfortunately. Yep. But no pylon with that guy. Blitz that motherfucker right there. I'm going to do this hit and follow in. But I want to move him first. Which means... Probably blitz here with him. Keep him out here. Yeah, so move this guy up to here. That guy there, foul with him. I want that guy in there. So we'll just come in and do this hit here. Yes. What's up? <laughs> yes. How long does this last? Uh, until it's done. Why? What's up? 
Just tell me what you're thinking. If you would take us to Babylon. Um, after this match. Probably going to be another half hour, 45 minutes. I didn't know you had matches tonight. I didn't. But I'm playing them because we were done at home, so... not have any claw. Problem is, I want to do this dodge out first, but if I double fail it, then I won't get the foul on him like I want. If I stand him up, it's still going to be uphill no matter what. He's just going to have to take a hit. anyway. <clears throat> Come on, fat zombie. Fuck me, fat zombie. Really? <laughs> A fucking four? <sighs> and uphill... Uphill, uphill, uphill. Do I do an uphill hit here? <clears throat> if I push him here. Yeah, actually, I think I do. I got the reroll. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, no, I'm not going to reroll. We'll take it. He'll take the both down. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> if I could have got the pushes or the yellows pushes, whatever, I'd have pushed him here, and then he would have been marked on him, and he would have only been marked on him. But he still could have got the hit off there easily. Could have got the hit off there easily enough, anyway. And that's piling on, right? Yep, that's immediate piling on there. Bam. Yep. Surprised it took him that long, to be honest. And a stunned. Surprised it took him that long. <coughs> Something never said about you. <laughs> yep. That was not the blitz that I thought. Oh, and he gets the mighty blow on him. Damn it. Oh, he broke with the mighty blow. He took the mighty blow to break and then rolled double ones for the injury, so that's good. I did not expect that blitz there, actually. That kind of surprises me a little bit. He's going to get the guard in on those guys. Okay, I mean, I get easy hits on both of you. <clears throat> Come on, fail this, go for it. Fail to go for it. Ah, I needed him to fail that, go for it. Needed him to fail that, go for it. Or this one, even. Ah, it makes a break tackle. He rolled another two on a break tackle. Jesus. He did fail the first, go for it. God dang it, I need him to fail these, man. I'm not failing any of them. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Oh, and I can't stand him up. That is so nasty. Standing him up would have been so nice. <coughs> He's got three guard in there. Oof, that's not good. That is not good. So I can get two dice here. That's uphill. Uphill, uphill. That's uphill. Uphill, uphill, uphill. Yep. So everything's uphill through all that. That's what I expected. Man, that break right there just kills me. Now, see, this is what I would expect of Crucifer to put me in this position and put me in a hard spot here. The gameplay that he did in the first half, I would not expect that gameplay for him. That was not gameplay from a caliber of coach that I would expect him to be. This is more like what I would expect. <clears throat> this is making it super tough on me. 
So I can't get two dice on him because of the guard. If I get the two dice there, I can push him out, but that doesn't really help me much. I really want to get the two dice on him. So what I could do is move him up and then blitz here and then dodge out with these guys. Do the two die hit here. Oh, and I get the pal. Nice. Nice. That was huge right there because I forgot he had fend actually. Make him just mark those guys back up with whoever he wants to mark them with. So here's the big rules. I need these dodges right here. That's the first one. And I won't follow here. So I dodge him out and come up to here. He could, if I followed, actually I probably would follow if I get the yellow. Yeah, let's do this. Come on, give me a yellow. Perfect. We'll mark him off of these guys and hope that I can break. Ah, come on, I need to break there, man. If I move there, let's just do the dodge first. Ah. There we go. Now, um, that would let him get into there. He could get in and one die me. He could move these guys in, break tackle, come out here. Actually, be uphill now because of the guard. If he came out there, it'd be a one die. So, yeah, I think I come out here. Yep, come out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so, he's going to do the blitz here and then just come in and mark me with a bunch of guys. <clears throat> but that means he won't do the blitz there. But he'll have four. Di he'll have three dice on him with this guy if he stands him up and then brings a guard in here. So get a guard in right here. <clears throat> yep. He could. Oh, it's gonna go that route instead. Interesting. Ah. Now the question here is: Does he pile on here? Ah, oh, he doesn't have to. Unless it's a stun. No, it's a KO. Fuck. He definitely won't pile on now. So at least that saves him. <laughs> that's that's one good thing, right? Saves him at least. <coughs> ah, and he gets the fucking yellow. I definitely need him to not break here. Because he pushes him here. Oh, no. He didn't. Interesting. Come on, no break. No break here, baby. No break here. No, I didn't break. That's good. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Definitely bring him out there. Absolutely.
Oh, he rolls a two for it. Damn it. Oh, and that's a strength five. Shit, that ain't good. That ain't good. Just clean him up. We got hits there and there. Uh, guard across the board for him, so that'd be a one die. One die if I go there. He's uphill everywhere. He's uphill there. Well, if I did three uphills... No, two uphills and a one die. <laughs> Two uphills and a one die. I could do this. <coughs> so I could one die him out. Bam. That'd give me still an uphill there. And then that would be an uphill there. And then he could go eight and score. But that'd leave him four turns left after that. He's got two of my Tomb Guardians out here by themselves with fucking tomb, uh, with one Chaos Warrior, and that's killing me. Or uh, Chaos Warrior, Chaos Dwarf Blocker. And that is absolutely killing me. <coughs> absolutely killing me, man. Reroll it, unfortunately. Nothing guard, nothing. I could blitz there for one die, push him out, come in here, and then surf him <coughs> with a one die. Blitzed. Shit. I already fucking blitzed. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Dodge out and bring him in. Or I could dodge out and bring him here and get the two die there. It's uphill. Uphill, uphill. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, I'm fucked either way I go, man. Dodge and go for it and see if I can tie him up. It's the best I can do, I think, at this point. Oh, I made the dodge. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, DNS. Come on, DNS. Woohoo! DNS, baby. And the level. I mean, it's the best I could do right there, I think. I couldn't stall out no more. Couldn't stall out. Now I gotta stop him for four turns. I get my blitz right back, that's good. DNS with the touchdown for three points. Three spiders once they ever get fixed. All right, now I gotta give him guys to hit, unfortunately. And I'm not putting my kicker up there. Put both my rookie tomb guardians. <clears throat> One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, six, nine, ten. I got 11 pound on these Tomb Guardians, unfortunately. Because I haven't been able to take any of his guys off the pitch, which sucks. Garner West, what's up, man? Welcome in. Lopez, yes, ripen that sweat off my forehead, ain't I? Raspberry creeps. Crepes. However the hell you say it. Boy, spider. Red Ogre just killed my block tomb guardian. Oh, that sucks. In black box? Uh -huh. I'm assuming that's what the B is, black box. I'm going to take her there. If you need a ride, call me. I will, but the laundry's done in like 20 minutes. Can you please fold it? If I remember. Love you. Can you please remember? Love you. I love you too. Call me, call remember? me if you need me to ride hey, or will. take an Uber. Okay, I will. You better. Wait a minute, where's my kick? Where's my kick? Why can't I use kick? What? Oh man, what the fuck? Oh, that sucks, man. <sighs> Why it wouldn't let me use kick? Unbelievable, dude. He's not in the outside line. That sucks. I should have been able to use kick. That was the whole reason I didn't put him on the line. He's right there. Should have been able to use my kick. So, that so sucks, dude. So sucks. Have to have him selected. How the hell do you select him? Oh, I'd had to select him after the kick happened? Uh, I've never had to select him before. He's always been the one that's, that actually does it. I've never had to actually select him. That sucks. I've never, ever had to select him before. That absolutely sucks. Yep, I've never had to select him. It's always been defaulted to him. Well, I know that from now on. That blows ass big time. And then I took a Tomb Guardian out on the pylon. All that for... And didn't even get to use it for what I wanted it to use it on. So bad. Need him to double fail this pickup. Come on, baby, double fail it. Nope. Shit. No way I can get... Come on, ref, catch him. Oh, he's got a bribe now. Fuck. He didn't have the bribe before. Catch him anyway. Make him use his bribe. Oh, he didn't get didn't break. That's good. <laughs> All right, so actually, oh, there's no way I can get him pushed out to him. Doing a hit there, pushing him, pushing him into there. I could actually get to where I could mark him on the blitz. All right. That's on there. Thanks for the host, man. Could get to him where I could at least let's at least do that. That's my guard, so we'll get my guard in there too. I'll follow and get my guard in there. So I could blitz there and at least get him marked. Yeah, I know, Tech. <laughs> Did you hear me? Okay. All right, we'll 
to stand him up for now. Have fun, Haley. Yeah. You know that laundry ain't getting done, right? What? You know that laundry ain't getting done, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't let her drive if she shouldn't be. No, I will. I'll come get you guys. Okay. All right. Have fun. <laughs> no, the one I was just talking to is my daughter's girlfriend. <laughs> one of her best friends. She's staying with us right now for a couple of months while she finishes up her um, clinicals to get her master's degree. Come on, cross him. Oh, just a KO. That's a little late. Could have used that five or six turns ago. That was one of his pylon guys, too. Could have used that a little bit ago. I got to mark this guy, unfortunately. I don't want to, but I have to. And I need to mark this guy so he can't get the assist here with him. Draw. And then here... Bring him out here. Him here. And him here. That will at least let me get three dice on this, or two dice on this pylon piece here. Nice. And we'll make him just come out or do whatever he wants to do after that. Um, we'll go with that for now. <coughs> The other one's my wife, demonic, or demonic impulse. The one that keeps telling me to do the laundry. She's my wife. Ah, come on with the break. Uh, did you see my messages, Dern? I mess. I posted like two or three times to you on the Discord, and you never responded that you've seen it. I have my. I forgot I had my tabletop tournament. Two hours before our game's supposed to start, or no, three hours maybe. But take from them everything. Just follow me, demonic. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, my, it's it. When is our match scheduled? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, I posted on the Discord. I might be a little bit late, like probably a half hour to an hour late, most likely. Uh. That's just a rookie blocker. Oh, and he fucking kills him. A rookie blocker with nothing. But he regens. That's good. Too bad my fucking Tomb Guardians don't regen like that when they die. Um, let's see here. We are scheduled to play at 2. Yeah, so my tabletop tournament is 2 hours before that. It's probably going to last 2 hours, and it takes me a little bit of time to pack up and 20 minutes to drive back home. So... Uh, could be anywhere from a half hour late to maybe even a full hour late, just depending on how long that game takes or, or runs. So I hope that's not an issue for you, but I mean that's the best I can do. <clears throat> I totally forgot I had my uh, tabletop match that day at, at yeah, tomorrow at noon, noon my time. <clears throat> it's not a very safe spot for him. I can actually get to him fairly easily here with a couple of edge boosted dodges five six seven eight and he's actually guard so one two three four five six seven put guard two three four five six seven two go for it so we get the two die hit on him if he went there yeah he went in a better spot for now anyway wow Come on, there, thank you. Now fail the reroll. Come on, baby. There we go. Kill yourself, baby. Ah, I didn't kill himself. Push it an hour. Perfect, that'd be great. An hour should be plenty of time, I would think. Yeah, if you want to play that match early or you know, during that time, we can I'm not I'm clear from then on up until Hold on, let me pull my schedule back up. 
I'm clear all the way up until 8 p.m. Central. So if you want to play your match anytime in that time frame, and then I'll just be online and I'll hook up with you then and we can play whenever you're done with that match, that would work perfect, dude. That would be awesome. And then I don't have to worry about hurrying up and, and trying to play quick and on my tabletop and all that good stuff. That would be absolutely awesome, man. And highly appreciative. Three, four, five, six. Get him into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I'm going to have to do is multiple dodges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's what I would have to do if I choose to do it this time. Um, that would be a 1 die. 2 die. So let's go ahead and do the... to the two die here see if I can get him out of the game nope fuck me man this guy we're gonna get down here to play safety uh, at this point I almost have to right I gotta slow him down I have to try and slow him down here so at this point yeah I think I have to do that um I could do the one die here, which would save me a potential dodge. One dodge here, anyway. We'll stay here. Um... I'm gonna do the one die. Yeah. Didn't hurt me, but it didn't help me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Whoa, look at all them fucking sixes, dude. Six, 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 five. Holy crap. I'm due to fail miserably now, right? One, two, three. That's only two dice, damn it. So I got to dodge twice. I need those same rolls right here, baby. One. No, I almost made it all. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Come on, Talquin. Come on, Talquin. Come on, Talquin. Yes, Talquin! You motherfucking beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah! Talquin, you're a fucking beast, baby. You are a fucking beast, Talquin. I love you. Love you, man. Oh, shitty, shitty. Looky there. DNS even being a beast right here, baby. Should I do the go for it? Oh, should I do this go for it right here? No, because I like where that ball is right now, right? I like where that ball is. I'm staying right where I'm at. <clears throat> that was a beautiful thing, baby. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, he is. It was an amazing Satterfield. Yep, yep. Yahtzee, that's right, Duran. Yahtzee, baby. Yes, I needed those dice right there. They came through at the perfect time. Pick my Battletech brain. I've actually avoided you and other streams of it to avoid spoilers in a campaign. Perfect, S Hunter. No problem at all. How quick were you to tinker with the default build of your early starter mix? Um, I tinkered with them pretty quick, actually. I think the second meeting... Yeah, that's absolutely what he has to do. Come on, bounce into my hands and catch it. No, no. Bounce backwards. Backwards. Ah. Not terrible, though. Not terrible. Not terrible right there. Could have been worse. I think you have to do the hit here and not try to get the ball at this point, right? Or do the blitz and then go get the ball. I didn't realize he hadn't blitzed yet. I need him to... Oh. Come on, I need him to fail this pickup. Fail this pickup, baby. If he doesn't, if he makes this pickup, I'm screwed. Come on, 
Come on, no re -roll. Be bad, re -roll, be bad. Yes! Alright, so we're still good. He can still score next turn, though. He can absolutely score next turn, can he? Because he can go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, he can't. From right there, he cannot score. So he has to hand it off to this guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Has his hand it off there. So, first things first. Guard, guard. I can't score. So, I think first things first. We at least get here. Then I can move him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get him down on him. Or I can just blitz here for one, two, three, four. All right, so let's move him over here. Stand him up. Let's do the blitz here. Yellow would be perfect. Nope, unfortunately. <coughs> Oh, fuck, I pushed him the wrong way. Shit, I can't get through there now. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I pushed him the wrong way. Need to push him this way. Ah, I totally fucked that up, didn't I? Totally fucked that up. Uh-uh-uh. Wow, I fucked that up big time. Alright, I need to get a yellow here now. There we go. Make sure I push him the right way. So now he's just got to get down here to get in the way. Nice. He's pylon. He's guard. Let's see if I can push him. Ah, oh, damn it! That sucks. All I wanted was a push to push him here and get that guard off of my big guy. Well, he still has a chance here. He gets the pylon hit there. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on, Schnizzle. There you go, Tom Schnizzle. Nice job, buddy. He blitzed the wrong spot. Shouldn't have blitzed there. He should have dodged out and blitzed here. Got him off, because then he could have came over and handed off to him and he scores. A lot better chance to do it that way. Oh, well, he double failed that anyway. Oh, 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 just a stun. Damn. Too bad that wasn't a kill. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take the take the draw there. Only a three on the rollings, but that's all right. Yes, one of the Tomb Guardians got it. Zen, he gets the MVP in levels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that ended up working out good. I leveled DNS and I leveled the rookie Tomb Guardian. Beautiful, 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 baby. That was perfect. And Anarian scoring with a tree, been good day. <laughs> oh, that and you still, so you saw Anarian score with a tree earlier, I take it. Nice. <laughs> Kimry dodges. Actually, and see, that's the problem, Red Joker. So many people don't like to play Kimry and they get so scared of him because of all the edge, too. A dodge with a Kimry piece, not a Tomb Guardian, is a 50% dodge. Yeah, it's not the greatest numbers, but it's still not terrible, right? And then if you get dodge on him, or if you have the reroll, normal team reroll, it takes it to a 75% chance. It's not that bad of a chance. It's same with the pickup with the throw rods, right? Or any other edge two piece on the team. The throw rods is nice because they have the built in reroll with sure hands. 75% chance with a reroll to pick up a ball. Yeah, you're going to have your games where you fail five or six pickups in a row or you fail all your dodges. It's going to happen, right? But it could happen just as easily with an edge three team or an edge four team with, with elves. And you roll a shitload of ones, right? It happens. 
the, the, the point is is so many people are scared of Kimry because of the edge and you shouldn't be. Yes, you should do things differently. You should position differently and you should not do those plays unless you have to. But when you're in a pinch and you have to do them, it's not the most terrible role in the world. A 50% chance is not as bad as people make it out to be. People do worse than that by going uphill all the time on my Tomb Guardians and get away with it more than they should. It's a worse percentage chance to do that. But that's that's why you roll the dice, right? It makes it fun. Yeah, he did have two threats during. That's why I was trying to mark him with both. If I had pushed right on the with the Tomb Guardian on that first hit I did, I would have ran the Tomb Guardian down to mark the <clears throat> the um, um, Hobgoblin. And then I would have used my, my throw rod instead of running down and marking Hobgoblin. I would have ran down and marked the other bull and then had the two die hit on the bull with my Tomb Guardian. But once I, I failed or, or screwed up on that push on that Chaos Dwarf blocker and I couldn't move my Tomb Guardian down, that screwed up my whole plans. I had to change it up because I just pushed the wrong wrong direction. Hey, Rama, what's up, man? Yeah, it's... I wouldn't have done it the way he did it, DNS, because then he would have had a, he would have had the four plus pickup. He'd have had to make three go for it to hand off, and they get a four plus catch. Or if he doesn't do the three go for it, he'd have had to do a five plus pass, and a four plus catch. If he would have dodged out, just dodged out, break tackle, dodged out with the with the one piece, and blitz that throw rod off of the hobgoblin, then it's just a four plus pickup. One go for it, hand off to the edge three hobgoblin, which is only a three plus, and then the hobgoblin runs in. I don't think the hobgoblin had a go for it. He may have had one go for it. I don't remember. Um, but he definitely did it the wrong way. And again, I would have expected a better play there out of Crucifer and, and the caliber that I feel he is at than what he did. He had some plays in the first half. I thought the caliber of coach that he should be, I thought the plus, some of the plays he did in the first half was not up to that caliber. So definitely, I feel like he played way under where I thought he should have played. <clears throat> I think in that first half, if the dice go a little bit heavier in my favor and not as heavy in his favor, and my lightning bolt doesn't fizzle, I think I stop him from scoring. I think I'm a better coach than him as far as positioning and playing. I think I definitely position better and keep him from scoring. And then if I pull out my score in the second half like I do, then I probably win. Now... I will give him credit in the second half when we were on that sideline, the way he, he screened off there and the way he made it tough with his positioning with his guard. He played a lot better there, and I absolutely give him his credit on that. He played very, very good there and, and positioned well and made it super, super tough for me. But his caliber of play and the way he played in the first half and the way he played that last turn, I think it is he played under what I feel like his caliber should be. I think he's a better coach than that. And I don't know, maybe he was – a little salty for me making the crazy score that I did, or even worse because I got all the dodges and go forts off and got the ball out of his his hobgoblin's hands. Maybe he was salty and pissy about that, and he just played quick and didn't think his play out. Who knows what it was? But in any event, I think he plays at a higher cal level and, and caliber than what he actually played through most of that match. He did have some turns there in the second half, early on defense where he played really good, where I thought he should have been. Um, but I, I, I feel like he didn't play up to where his, his level should be. From what I've seen of him, you know, from what I've seen of him before, just in the rankings and from watching him in the playoffs of the, of the champs ladder. Yep, have a good one, Dern. We'll see you tomorrow, man. And thank you, Satterfield and Volpez. <laughs> I fold my laundry. Yeah, I probably should, right? Thank you, Rama. No, they're not source bad at all. Source bad are even worse, right? Because they're edge one. The majority of the, of the Kimry team, minus the four Tomb Guardians, are edge two. 50% on everything that they do edge based. Source is edge one, so it's five plus. So it's it's not even 50%, it's 33% chance. And if you have a reroll or a, a built in reroll skill, then it's 55% chance. So source and, and, and lizards are even worse because you only have skinks that can do edge plays there. So Kimry's way better than, than a lizard team as far as edge goes across the board with all players. <clears throat> yep, 
He was. He had to make a lot of rolls without a reroll. When I made those those four dodges and four go for it to get the ball carrier down, and then on top of it, I KO'd the ball carrier. That I think that got him a little salty and a little pissy, and I think that's why he played quick there and he shouldn't have, and uh, and uh, cost himself the potential chance of the win there. All right, so let's see if we can get doubles for him. Doubles, baby. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> All right, let's wait on this. Wow, would I go with another move bump? Fuck. Come on, DNS. I need 11 right here, baby. I need you to replace the blitz rod that lost that level, that uh, edge bump. 11, baby. Ah, just a regular. Damn it. All right, so where is he? Sure hands leader... Or a leader block kickoff return. Leader block kickoff return. My other one is fend. Block tackle fend. So leader block kickoff return. We don't take... <sighs> yeah, I'm not taking any of those. There's a steal would be interesting. but Because I do, I do tend to pass and hand off quite a bit with him, but... The Nerves of Steel would only come in handy when I'm passing. <laughs> Nerves of Steel. <laughs> I'll take your girl. Yeah. <laughs> it would be interesting, though. Nah. If I took anything on passing, it would be Hail Mary, but I'll actually save that for my safety uh, throw raw. My other throw raw. I did. I, I really need the guard, but I'll take Mighty Blow before I take the guard. Yeah, the Hail Mary will come Colonel West on the other Tomb Guardian. Or the other throw rod. That'll be her next skill, unless she rolls the 11 for the edge. Hail Mary is a great skill for Kimry, for defense. Right? Like, if I had Hail Mary on that Tomb or that throw rod right there when I got next to the ball, I could have made the go for it, picked it up, and then Hail Maryed it back to his end zone, and he never scores. I don't even have to worry about the rest of that, that half. Um, strip ball, no. Dirty player, no. Frenzy, no. Tackle, potentially kick, no. Pass block, no. Pro, yeah, no. Wrestle, no shadowing, no Finn, Donna. So it'd either be Finn or Hail Mary. I'm going to go with Finn. The Finn's more uh, more use for me right now with these two pieces, especially with DNS being my primary ball carrier. The Finn is way more important. So, yeah, this, this one's my defensive safety throw raw, so she would be the one to get the Hail Mary. Um, alter Ego, no, you did not die yet. Yeah, Fend I get more use out of, and now I've got Fend on both of them, which is really good. Man, I really need the Mighty Blow. I really need the Mighty Blow here, because i got to get the 16 quicker to get guard. Although, he is at 10, so he only needs three casualties. I could go the guard first. The guard would be way more important right now, because I'm down to only two guard. And at this high TV, I need more guard. Being as he's already at 10, and he's already almost halfway to the next level, I think I'm probably going to go guard. The Mighty Blow would be nice. It would get me there really quicker. If I could get three quick casualties on him. Or a casualty and another MVP. I really got to try to get him level two, though. I, mean, I got four Mighty Blow now. I don't really need a fifth Mighty Blow. It would be nice to have, but I don't need it. But it would get me those those six extra points really quick. <clears throat> the move would be nice, but I just the move's not worth it here at this point. I've already got the move six. I really, I mean, guard and mighty blow is way more important now. That puts me at seventeen, eight, and seven. Or 17, 8, 6, yeah, yeah. Because I was at 7 draws. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, and 
No, I didn't miss the Mighty Blow. The Mighty Blow didn't do me any good that match anyway. The, the hits I got with him didn't do any good. But, yeah, the guard would have been extremely nice right there, Satterfield. You're right. Normally, I, I agree with you, DNS. On that, to go in Mighty Blow first to get the S. And I, that's why you see I always go Mighty Blow first unless I roll something good like a, a block or a strength up. Um, the only reason I would think about not going Mighty Blow here is because he's already at 10, right? If he had just got to 6 or, or one casualty and got to 7 and I had to go from 7 to 16, then I probably probably wouldn't go guard first i'd go mighty blow just because i had to go so many spps to get to that 16 level but since he only needs six here i mean that's easily one casualty in an mvp or a touchdown a couple of touchdowns which you guys know i don't mind scoring with my coon guardians um but the mighty blow would help me get there a lot quicker i mean i could easily get two or three casualties in one match with the mighty blow and then get guard you know in the next match yeah, that really killed me, Volpus. When he had the two Tomb Guardians over here, each marked on one Chaos Blocker apiece, that screwed me. He, him getting that to go off really, really hurt me. And I got out of position bad. He, he got me out position there very nicely. And that's why I say, that's the kind of play I would have expected from him the whole game, right? He really did a great job of positioning and getting me to get two of my Tomb Guardians completely out of the way and marking them with only one piece, right? Normally, I like to have two or three pieces on each Tomb Guardian, and then that slows him down with that positioning that he would have had over there. But he did a very excellent job with that, and that's how I would have expected him to play the whole the whole game, and he just didn't. It seemed to me like he got extremely... Um, extremely... not greedy. Overzealous... I guess with the with the mighty blow piling on pieces, I mean every every single hit that he did with those when he took them down he piled on. I think one time he didn't pile on, every other time he piled on. I mean I mean immediately didn't even think twice about it. Just bam immediately piling on, and I think he got too involved with doing that with every single hit, and it took him out of some of the plays on earlier in the game where he should have been positioning with those guys maybe a little bit better. Um, but that's what happens when you have that many pylon, right? You you tend to get over greedy with your pylons, and you want to take pieces off. And that's it seems to me like that's how he was trying to win by removing enough of my pieces where I couldn't put up any kind of a fight. And he did take pieces off in the first half. I was just lucky to make all of my regens, except for the one that was badly hurt, which didn't really matter. And I made all my KOs with my Bay Bro, which was nice. He's honestly he's extremely lucky that my lightning bolt fizzled because if my lightning bolt doesn't fizzle there and that ball bounces down then I can easily dodge out with my edge piece or, or uh, do what I did with uh, with the blitz and pushing my, my throwers off. And I could have easily got a guy over there to get the ball, and then he would have had to make more hits to try to get the ball out. And if he doesn't get the ball out, then he's really screwed, right? So he really got lucky that the lightning bolt fizzled. <laughs> guard is definitely better for the team right now, Satterfield. I agree. Mighty Blow gets me to guard quicker, though, which is nice. Bope has an excellent point. Yep, I still think guard. The other two Tomb Guardians could have used guard to laugh out loud. Absolutely, they could have. All of them could. Yeah, it, it's a shame I lost those two, right? Because I'd have, right now, I'd have three Mighty Blow Stay and Firm Guard Tomb Guardians if I had those other two in. Plus, with this guard, that had me with four guard, which is great, right? But I lost them, and that's the way it goes. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it for a quick second. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'm going to go fold those clothes real quick. That'll probably take me about five minutes. Um, uh, fold them up real quick so that way the wife's at least halfway happy when she gets home and she's not pissed and ready to chop my dick off while I'm sleeping. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Where do I see the line of my, my people? Home. Back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. 
in the halls of Valhalla. With 